praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And this is part two of my motivation scriptures to get you through anytime you want to, sis. This is for us. We just for the, we the team right here. Team, team sisters of Israel. So I left off in Sirach. So I'm going to start, I'm going to have the second um, half starters off. Starters, uh, excuse me, you know, I get a little nervous, but I'm going to start us out, okay? In 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. So 1 Thessalonians, I like turning my pages in my Bible. It's, it makes me feel whole. So 5, 16. Um, rejoice evermore. 17. Pray without ceasing. 18. Everything give thanks for this is the will of Yahweh and Hamashiach Yahweh Shah concerning you. See, it's, rejoice. It goes back to what we were talking about in the last video. Rejoice. Try your best to be happy. I know you we in captivity. I know we in slavery. I know we a part of a lot of conspiracy theories. And you know they're killing us in the streets. But if you're following the laws and commandments of the Most High to your best ability, you already know why this is happening. So rejoice. And pray without ceasing, sis. Every, keep praying. Pray. Pray, pray. Like you concentrate on praying. I, I'm not. I'm not saying like every day. Just okay. Like all day, every day. Like what? Have you seen my wife? Oh, she over there on her knees again, facing knees. You like? Oh my God! What? She on her knees again. So just you know, go into your closet and pray, and whatever you're asking him for, he will. He will be diligent to reward you out in public. You know, so let's go over to our next verse in Romans, Romans 12 and 19, 12 and 19 reads, dearly beloved. Now I'm going to read it down. I'm going to get into it. Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. I know you like, well, this is motivation. Why is she talking about vengeance? Because you, a lot of us sisters right here, if you're doing this right, if you're following this walk right, you are, a lot of people are really messing with y'all. Your family, co-workers, uh, friends, you know, strangers could really be giving you a hard time and you probably want to like oh this mug keep trying to test me make fun of me because i'm wearing my head wrap now i'm wearing a skirt or they feel like i'm dressed like an old lady i heard that one too i was like an oh, old lady i mean i'll take that oh respectful thank you and i was you know because if i'm dressed like an old lady covered up and if she's half naked, isn't that close to being a baby? I think differently. You know. I don't know. But anyway. So, the vengeance is the most high. It's his. He's going to get them. So, if anybody is bothering you right now, anybody is bothering you, bothering you, giving you a hard time in this truth, just know that the Most High is going to get them for you, my sister. They're going; he's going to handle it and believe, pray. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying you be in there be like, Lord, I want you to go and get a shotgun, run behind that nigga smooth, pull the trigger back, and like I ain't, don't pray that. Like you know, just you know, talk to the Most High. Like I, you know, I, I understand a weaker vessel. I'm, I get, I'm angry. Because you can you confessing to you talking to him, you gotta be real. I'm angry because this person is saying, you know, X, Y, and Z about me, they give me a hard time. Can you please help me? And he will help you. And I from my walk, when I said those prayers for him to avenge me, I I've learned to 
put up a prayer for mercy too because he can he'll get them back in a way that can destroy that person's life you know so especially if it's a brother and a sister and that's doing it to you one of our own people you know you want to when you pray just have a little mercy on them because you will want that too because you ne we never know who we offend right so remember that the most high is going to avenge us sis now, let's go over to Ephesians 4.29. Ephesians 4.29. And it says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. That's, now, I know that it's kind of like it's positive. It's, it's a positive thing. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I put this in for our motivation. It's going to motivate you because when I, when the good communication, when you're out in public or you're with, around your family anywhere outside of your house, it's a great chance that no one's seen how a Hebrew Israelite woman acts in person. Some, A lot of them think we probably like sad and looking around like, oh my God, because they think that we, we get beat on, remember? Because like, we, we want to be there for our husband. We love our husbands. We trust our husbands to lead us, so they think he beats us. So they, to them, we're going to be out in public like, you know. But when, you're out in public, when we're out in public or around people, you got to remember, you're the only example that representing us. So you don't want to be... Uh, I don't know why this mug, it, I don't, this bitch better get out of my, you know, excuse my language, this is how we talk. I'm being real right now. Because we think it. I'm just saying it out loud. This, this bitch is sitting in front of me and she's cutting me in line. Who do you think you are? Do you know who I am? Do you not know that royalty is sitting before you in line right now? I'm an Israelite. I'm a princess, okay? You look how you're dressed. You're nothing. Let me through. Like, you can't, they're going to be like, oh, God. I, I wouldn't recommend that. You know, if somebody jumps you in line, it's kind of like, you know, I'm the old me would be like, how much are you in a rush? No, I'm just joking. No, you know, just, we got we have a certain standard that we as sisters need to hold in public. Because you can't have tassels and fringes on and then you acting a fool. Or you have tassels and fringes on and somebody playing a twerk song and you in the parking lot, hey! And you dancing to it. Because the most high fix it now, someone over there can be recording you. And then they're like, oh, look how these Hebrew women act in public. And then forever, you're going to be known as, hey, twerking in your border blue and fringes. You know. Or if you having trouble with smoking cigarettes, and you're an Israelite woman, you walking around with your head wrapped border blue smoking a cigarette. Or don't be caught if you're you and you cussing out your husband, making him feel like, man, you ain't you. What is you good for? I should be the man. You know what? When I get home, I'm gonna go in your closet. I'm gonna put on your garment because you don't deserve it. Talking to your husband any kind of way in public. Okay, don't we're don't let any evil communication come out of our mouth. Because we're the examples of the Hebrew Israelite women. That's our motivation because you're that special. That when you go out public, people don't even know how you act. So they're just looking at you every move. Some of us see it. You, we ain't stupid. We quiet in public. I don't know I am quiet because I'm looking around and see. I got to see what everybody doing around me. Because I just don't trust people. That's just who I am. But when I see, when, you, when I look around, I see like, you know, people are kind of looking, you know. And you'll be surprised how the men will be more respectful. They'll open the door for you and stuff. Women, I've seen actual women that have, like, their body parts showing and they'll try to cover up. It's been times that um, men have bowed down, like, to me in public. I did not know what to do. I I'm, I did do a lot. I, I had to hurry get it out of there. Once went by myself a couple times with my husband. Because that's who we are, sis. That's who you are. I'm telling you, you're, you, you are something very, very, very special. 
I cannot lie. I won't lie to you about this. If you won't, I would have been like, you're not special. You don't mean nothing. You just can't win. Like, I'll say that out, but you're not, sis. So that's just something to think about. Now, um, let's go next to Ephesians. I mean, to Psalm, to Psalms 37 and 5. Let's go over here to Psalms 37 and 5. Okay. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Sis, so you as long as you trust in the most high, he is gonna bring your situation come to pass. It's gonna come to pass. No matter what it is. Now, I am not saying you go out and you do some stuff, you willfully sin and you think, oh, he's going to forget, it's going to come to pass. No, like, we make mistakes, he knows this. But you come to him, you confess it to him, he's going to, it's going to eventually come to pass. Whatever it is, if you trust in him. Because you can fool all of us, you can fool the world, but he, you, the, you cannot. <laughs> That just, I don't know if to take that to sign. Bluetooth disconnected. Bluetooth pairing. Okay. So my first real technical difficulties, give it up. <laughs> I'm officially broke in. So like I was saying, whatever you're going through, sis, you can hide it from everybody, but you can't hide it from him. So... But just know, when, you, when you're doing the best you can, it's going to come to pass. He said it, and he can't lie. Okay, we're going to go into, I got three more left. Let's go to Isaiah 41 and 10. Isaiah 41 and 10. Okay, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. <laughs> that, that's for us, sis. Our God said this. About us too. He's always here. Don't ever, if you, it's lonely. This walk is lonely as a sister, ain't it? Some of us don't have no sisters. Like, we ain't got no sister we can call contact with. We ain't got no, we got a sister that we can type to online, maybe. But actually, a sister that we can sit down with physically and talk to her, that is impossible. The few that I've met in person, I'm I'm glad that I did. They came, the most high brought them around at the perfect time. So he's with us. So when you when you're sitting there, you feel alone or you can't talk to somebody, or you're going through something that you really don't want to discuss with any other sister about it, it's okay. Talk to the most high about it. He got you. Through Hamashiach, I'm taught to Hamashiach Yahweh through Yahweh. Okay. Now, Second Timothy. Let's go to Second Timothy one and seven. Second Timothy one and seven, and that reads: For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This right here is important because right now we know the, where, the direction that this world is trying to go, right? We know what they're trying to do. We know, we know what the, the extent the enemy has done before to gain control of us. And we got to be prepared for whatever that is, sis. That's why he said he don't give us a, 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 a spirit of fear. Don't be afraid. Because this right here, 
This flesh dies. Anybody can kill your flesh, but only one, Salakia, only one, only one can destroy your soul. That's powerful. And he, and, and he gave us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's that sound mind. That's for my sisters out there that's dealing with, that's been cursed with, like with the biblically cursed with madness, dealing with mental issues from childbirth or clinical issues or anything that's that, that's affecting our minds. Okay? That one's for you. He just know that he is gonna give us that. I had to remember that. I'm 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 one of those ones that's cursed. With my mind as well. And I have, to, I have to tell myself. He is going to give me a sound mind. If I just stay. If I would just rejoice. And I and, and so far. I have my little. You know glitches here and there. But all in all. I am very satisfied. Because no, nothing. Can give me that sound mind. Like the most high can. Nothing can get take away that fear. Like the most high can. Nothing can give me that power or that love. So we got it, sis. We're strong beings. We are. Okay, last verse. Last but not least. Now, this verse right here. This is more of a, a the, the kickstart of a motivation. This is the, the, the verse that is going to get you thinking. After the verse, after this this is stopped and the credits are rolled, whatever happens after a, a video stops playing, this is what I need you, sis, to meditate on. And this verse should make you stronger, okay? I'm going to go to Proverbs 25, 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit... Is like a city that is broken down and without walls. You see that? If you don't take control of your of your walk with the Most High, love yourself, stay in the Scriptures, rejoice, try to try to be happy. Anything can come in like that city with no walls and tear you down, sis. Anything. But with the joy and the love and, and the power that we have, that the, that the Most High has given to us, we can overcome anything. And guess what? Then we won't be like a city without, without walls. We'll be like a city with walls. That it's hard to penetrate. It's hard to get. It's hard to come in there and destroy um, sis vibe. Sis got a vibe. The young folks say, I mean, oh, I almost told my age. You know, sis got a vibe. She's vibing right now. You can't bring her down. And that's exactly how it's going to be for you. So with all that being said, my sisters... I pray that the Most High gives each and every, every sister that's watching this video, I hope he gives you strength. I hope he gives you power. I hope he gives you love. I hope he gives you, I hope he makes you, uh, you know, set your zeal back for being a good servant to him, a good wife. If you don't have a wife, I mean, if you're not a, a wife, a good servant to the Most High, to the single um, sisters, if you got children, that you can be a better mom to teach them to get away from the things of this world and show and give them the same motivation that you have that was given to into you uh, given unto you, sis. You got this. I believe in y'all. I really do. If I didn't, I would have been like, okay, y'all about champion. I would have just in the video. But I really feel like. That if you listen to this video, you made it all the way to this point right here, part two, that you are going to make great changes in your life. You're awesome. 
you're beautiful, and most of all, you are chosen of the Most High. You look beautiful with your head wrapped. You look beautiful covered up. Right? You is a beautiful thing that you are trusting your husband to the mo to trusting your husband and and to um um Yahweh to the point that you want to be submissive to your husband, be a keeper of home. All presence to the most high for you, sis. Okay. So, um, real quick, I got uh, my shirt logos in, my shirt logo in, D225, the D stand for Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It's like, it's more of a workout apparel, but it's also for women that wear dresses, wear, wear skirts, and, you know, we represent what the Most High wants us to do, to be lawful. It ain't, don't open up, sis. I don't want to get into the whole discussion on pants or whatever. If that can, I'm, trust me, I'm going to bring that out. But for now, if you don't, if you're not into that, it's fine. But we, right here, is D225s. D225, okay? Love you, sisters. And with everything being said, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Shemar Yahweh.